Hey, Spy Ninjas, it's good to be back home. Fortunately, I haven't run into any hackers or other members of Project Zorgo after escaping from Grandview Lodge. Okay, please hit that like button and subscribe because we have some important matters to discuss, particularly the briefcase. First off, I'm thankful to see that Regina is okay after being clocked upside the head by Melvin. But, as I warned in my comment on the September 25th video, her exit ceremony, it seems Daniel left the briefcase out front of the safe house when they ran back in to save Regina. Let's go! Ah, it's locked! Don't worry, I also sent Chad a text to let him know, but by the time he received it, it was too late. You all gave that comment over a thousand likes and left hundreds of additional comments in reply. And unfortunately, we were right. One of the hackers must have grabbed it, after which PZ9 hid the briefcase away. But now, as we saw in Chad's video on Sunday, Agent Peters was able to grab the briefcase, thanks in part to Chad and Daniel's mad, spicy, and acidic cooking skills. Agent Peters picked a pepper sauce. Oh, oh boy. Wow. Now, as I warned the spy ninjas in the video that I placed on the flash drive attached to that briefcase, it cannot get into Project Zorgo's hands. Me and Daniel played it on V's September 22nd video. Casey! And, well, since it's been made public, it's only fair that I show you the video here on my channel too. I made this video to warn the spy ninjas about the briefcase getting into the wrong hands. 10 years ago, I joined a secret government program called Azog. Azog? 10 years ago? And although I'm no longer in hiding and I haven't been captured by Project Zorgo, well, at least for now, if Agent Peters is able to use that briefcase, I may need to go into hiding again if it's not too late. If you found this video, it either means that I am in hiding somewhere far away where they can never find me, or the hackers got me and we are all in grave danger. I can only hope it doesn't mean that they got the briefcase too. 10 years ago, I joined a secret government program called Azog, which was started in order to disrupt and destroy Project Zorgo's operations and their mission to take over and control social media around the globe. This project was so secretive and so dangerous that even the spy ninjas couldn't be told about it. However, once the pod was unveiled by the hackers and PZ-9 returned to power, it was no longer possible to protect this secret. And it was only a matter of time before the hackers caught up with me and discovered the briefcase hidden by Azog in the hills of Northern Minnesota. Now, I left a number of clues online to help the spy ninjas discover this location before the hackers can. If, by some miracle, the spy ninjas got to the briefcase first, they must do everything in their power to keep it out of Project Zorgo's hands. The fate of the internet and the world depend on it. Chad, if you're watching this, brother, I can only say, I'm sorry. Now, what does Azog mean, you ask? I'm, I'm not at liberty to say. Well, at least not yet. I know, I know I have a lot of explaining to do, but first, I owe an explanation to my brother and to the spy ninjas. Until then, I'll help them however I can, even if it has to be from behind the scenes. In the meantime, I'll work on some more YouTube videos for all of you. And in addition to the spy ninjas, of course, Leave me a comment and let me know what other types of videos you'd like to watch and what topics you'd like to see me cover in the future. As always, I appreciate you watching and thank you for subscribing. Until next time, I'll see you later.